Hello, I'm Brent First from the Braid of Mad Studios, and I'm back to fix up this collision on this box, these two boxes, in a previous HTML5 uh, example tutorial. You can see that I've reverted the code, so I can just go right on top of the other block, and I'll show you what that looks like. Basically, inside of the update, all I have is the if inputs. Let me actually do this here. You can see that inside of the update, all I have are the if inputs. Uh, ADWS and if the player hits the corner of the screens. So I took off the actual collision of the objects and pushing back and all of that to show you a better way that I uh, it's much easier than doing a million checks. I'm not sure why I didn't think of this before. I've done this before but I didn't think of it at the time I was doing the tutorial. So let's start off by adding a new variable at the top and we're gonna say var previous position is equal to new vector three or vector two sorry new vector two player dot x and player dot y so this stores the previous position of the player now what we're gonna do after we check our wall collisions is that we're going to use that we're gonna say if uh, player uh, intersects intersects um, what did we call it we called it rect I believe yes rect if the player intersects rect then all we need to do is say player dot x is equal to previous pl uh, position dot x and player dot y is equal to previous position dot y. So, um, so that's basically it. We first store the previous position, do all our update checks back of, of uh, our inputs and of if we uh, went off screen. And then we say, hey, if the player intersects this rect, then push the player back to its previous position before the last input update. So I'm going to save this out, jump back to the web page, refresh, and when I go over to the box, you're going to see that it gets stuck on everything. So I'm, it now doesn't do any of that jumping. We only did one if check. This is much nicer than what I started to have you guys do, and I apologize for that. I just didn't think of it at the time. So... Um, there's that. You'll be able to uh, just move normally. Uh, even if you hit the wall, you can still slide up and down on it and everything. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, I'm sorry for leading you on on the last one, but I guess it was a good concept of how to push things back manually and whatever. But this is a much faster way of getting it done. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Um, and uh, until next time, have a good day or night or morning, whatever it is, weekend. I'm done now. <laughs>